Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be talking about the new post that Daniel Panabaker actually made yesterday because it reveals some big information. Also, we're going to be talking about a few theories, and yeah. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so what we're talking about today is this new post on Instagram from Danielle Panabaker. You can check it out. I'm sure most of you guys follow her already, but it's on the screen right now. So, you see this picture that she posted. It's got her, it's got Grant, and it's got Carlos. And the caption below reads, Seeing my favourite guys in two short days, I have a permanent smile on my face. Comment below your predictions for Season 6 of The Flash. But... The big thing that caught everyone off guard is, Carlos is in this photo. Is Cisco not leaving? It seems like Cisco's not leaving because she's saying, see my favourite guys in two short days, guys, and obviously that means like the whole crew, but those two are on the screen, she's definitely done that on purpose, so it seems like Carlos is not leaving, seems like Cisco is going to stick around, which is very, very exciting. Obviously this seems like a confirmation, but you know, take it with a grain of salt because maybe he leaves, you know, a few episodes in or something like that. But for now, yeah, Cisco's going to be sticking around. This is very exciting. And so, you know, as to what he's going to do this season, we're going to theorize about that a little bit and talk about, you know, her question of leave your predictions for season six because we're going to do some predictions in this video for season six. So, as in regards to Caitlin, I think you know, the trajectory that she's going down this season, I feel like she's still going to be, you know, on the good side, she's not going to be overtaken, she's got her mum to deal with, she's now got powers, so I presume that's going to be a story that they may go back to, obviously they don't have to, because it's not as interesting as, say, the big bad of the season, you know, crisis coming up, obviously those are the big stories to focus on, so it may be in the background, like Caitlyn's father was last season, so we left with that teaser at the end where she actually found out that she had powers and, you know, Team Flash didn't know that. So that's what's going to happen, you know, partially with Caitlyn's story. But also we ended the season with Cisco actually giving and making Caitlyn a new suit. So we're going to see her in a new suit when she's out in the field. So yeah, that's what's going to be happening with Caitlyn. That's what I can see and predict right now as in regards to Cisco. He ended the season, he was all happy, he was with Camilla, they were just, you know, happily living. We all sort of presumed that he was going to leave because there was rumours for a long time that Cisco was going to leave because Carlos wanted to actually do other things, maybe go back to Broadway, do something else. And, you know, so he's definitely going to be back for the first few episodes at least, according to Danielle Panabaker from what we can infer from this post. But... That doesn't mean to say he's not going to leave halfway through the season, so I wouldn't get your hopes up way too high, but this is exciting news for now. And due to those rumours actually coming from a not very reliable source, it originated from We Got This Covered, and they've, you know, reported on some really bogus stuff in the past, so I wasn't sort of taking it too seriously. Everyone was sort of on edge. Is Cisco going to leave or not? And we got no definitive answer at the end of the season, although it seemed like it was pretty likely that he wasn't going to come back, considering that by the end of the season, he used a metahuman cure on himself, and that means he's not going to be Vibe anymore. He's just going to be Cisco. so what is his role in this season? If he is, in fact, here for the whole season, he's just going to be, obviously, mainly working with Team Flash just normally, you know, not using his powers because he doesn't get his powers, and also he's going to be, you know, doing his relationship sort of, just his normal life as well so I don't know how much of the season he's going to be in if he's going to pop up every now and again like he did last season you know we'll have to wait and see as to the capacity but one storyline could be that in crisis he may be able to get his powers back or he sees another version of himself that has powers and maybe he somehow figures out a cure you know to reverse his own cure to get his powers back maybe he gets bored of it because you know I don't know, I feel like he's eventually going to get his powers back in some way. Maybe that's just me being optimistic. But yeah, it seemed a little bit weird at the end of the season when he was like, yeah, I want to give myself the metahuman kill. We're all sort of suspecting that since like the mid-season when he started getting really obsessed with making this cure. You know, it was pretty obvious it was for himself. But 
I don't know. I feel like there might be a way to actually get his powers back. We'll have to wait and see, obviously, about that. And as for Barry, I think one thing that's going to be happening this season is probably going to be the reveal that Iris is pregnant. And I reckon by the end of the season, it could be a cliffhanger or something like that. It could be that Iris isn't pregnant with one baby, but two. Like the Tornado Twins, I think the idea of introducing that would be very exciting. And maybe in the crossover in Crisis, you get to see a version of Dawn Allen and Don Allen, played by Jessica Parker Kennedy and whoever her twin brother would be in Crisis. I think that would be very interesting, so I think that's something that may happen this season. I think that Iris is probably going to get pregnant and they'll find out, oh shit it's twins it's not the same it's not going to be the Nora that we knew last season so I think that's happening in terms of the West Allen family and as for what Barry's going to be doing this season I reckon he's going to be more front and center because this season we are presuming that Red Death is going to be the villain and you know he's going to have to be front and center to try and defeat him as he was in the past few seasons you know season one two and three all speeds the villains Barry was very much in the forefront Season 4, it was more of like Iris and like it was a mix of Team Flash. Season 5 was more about Nora. And so I reckon with the Speedster villain, if it is Red Death, which we are sort of all presuming and it seems like sources are pretty much confirming it's going to be Red Death by now. For all of you who are complaining that Barry wasn't in the forefront last season, I reckon he will be this season if it goes along with Red Death because, it, you know, it's going to be Speedster versus Speedster, Barry versus Red Death if that does happen. And this is just a crazy theory that I wanted to actually put in. I have this theory about Crisis, and this is nothing to do with Crisis in the comics, but it's a storyline in the comics where Reverse Flash kills Iris. What happens if on another Earth, and this gets revealed in the crossover, Iris gets killed by Reverse Flash, you know, phasing his hand through her head like he does in the comics, what happens if that's a way when Barry and Reverse Flash go back in time and that's part of the motivation to stop and maybe that version of Barry is actually not the original timeline Barry but Barry from another Earth. I don't know, I think that's kind of interesting, obviously it's way out there, that's the storyline in the comics and that just came up into my mind as in regards to, you know, theories for what may happen because that's a big storyline and I feel like that's going to come at some point so yeah, let me know, do you think I'm going a bit crazy about that? But yeah, let's move on to the next thing. So I've got a few questions that we're going to be talking about. So number one, is there any info known about Team Flash in the original timeline? So as far as I can remember, all that we know about the original timeline version of the Flash and his team is that Cisco was definitely there. That was the reason why Reverse Flash actually brought on Cisco at Star Labs because he knew he was supposed to be there to help Barry along. So I think that's about it as in regards to all we know. We know that he doesn't become the Flash till 2020. That doesn't happen. That's in the original timeline. So in the new timeline, Reverse Flash had to make the Star Labs explosion happen a lot sooner. And that's why he needed Cisco to actually help him so he can make that happen a lot quicker than he would be able to do it by himself. So number two, when Nora was killed, that being Barry's mum, of course, and they fight together, that being Reverse Flash and the Flash, was that the Flash from the original timeline? So we've had these questions for many years and I think the main answer to that is we don't really know but the presumption from all of us fans and all of us YouTubers and all of us who talk about the shows is that yeah that is the original timeline version of the Flash. We don't know what happened after that but we'll talk about that in a sec as that would have been the Flash that Reverse Flash was fighting because Reverse Flash only changed the timeline when he killed Barry's mum and so that version of the Flash would most likely be the original timeline because they would have came together and they would have fought together and then he creates the new timeline when he kills Barry's mum so yeah more than likely it is the original timeline version of the Flash so the last question is did Barry disappear after that night because you know we've never found out what happened to him after that so Barry most likely he might have disappeared he may have been erased from the timeline as with his timeline actually being you know destroyed and a new timeline is made you know he probably doesn't exist anymore unless he runs the speed force and he's been in the speed force this whole time that is a way for him to escape or obviously the negative speed force for a reverse flash but 
I think there is definitely a way for him to come back. There is a way that he could have survived if he was in the Speed Force, if he was constantly running like Thorne was in Legends Season 2. So for now, he's disappeared in some capacity, but there is a way that he may have survived. So that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, turn on notifications to not miss any videos over the summer. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.